channel. Today's video, I decided to do a trend that goes on on YouTube. I don't normally do this trend. I don't normally do tags. I don't normally do challenges on my channel. But I told you that I was going to step out of my comfort zone and I was going to give to you guys what you guys want. This trend is going on on YouTube and it's called the Instagram Baddie Makeup Look. And at first it caught my eye and I'm going to be dead ass with you. I did not know what Instagram Baddie meant. I was like... But I had to Google and I had to research and I had to be like Instagram baddie means and I went and I found out and I was like There's such a term for these type of girls on Instagram. That's crazy So Instagram baddie means pretty much this girl who has her life under control when her makeup is always slaying Meaning she got the highlight on point. She got the contour that it cuts she got her, her eyeliner, her wing line, like she can cut someone, like no lie. Really thick line, very, um, lots of lashes, uh, pretty much nude and matte colors, nude on the lip, matte brown color sort of thing. Like, I'm like, okay, I, I can try and wear the hat with like short hair, but for me, it's just like, no. So, but I, yeah, but whatever. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to wear the wig again. Come on. You guys must be tired of my wig. I was like... Okay, what else is an Instagram baddie? Well, you know, she pretty much lays the game. She's, you know, she can dress up in heels and she can dress down in sneakers and she's still slaying the game. So pretty much, I consider myself an Instagram baddie. Hell yeah, you know, let's get that self-esteem up there. You better consider yourself an Instagram baddie and slay your life. That is all I have to say. You Instagram baddies are not just for like that specific person. You can be an Instagram baddie and you can slay your life. So make sure that you slay. And do not think that you cannot be an Instagram baddie because your liner is not popping. You can get that liner to pop. Five, seven, eight, ten tries. But you get that damn liner to pop, alright? <laughs> Anyways, with no more talking, um, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look, all you have to do is keep watching. All right, so first thing is first, always moisturize your face. I'm just moisturizing my face with my favorite moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer you like. And then I am priming my face with my primer. You can use any primer you would like as well. So after all that is complete, I am actually applying, because I'm starting with the eyes actually, I'm applying concealer to my eyelids and on the bottom as well, just to hide those really dark under eye circles. We are going to be moving them to the eyes and we're going to be using the Murphy palette. We're going to grab that lighter brown color and that is going to be my transition shade. And I'm just going to pack it on to my crease and I'm going to do a lot of blending in this video. You probably won't see it on camera but that is what I'm going to be doing. Then I'm grabbing that darker color right in the bottom and I'm actually applying it inside the crease and smoking it out a little bit more then i'm going with that light white color and i am applying that on my lid i want it to be very light on the lid so that when i'm applying this nyx matte liner it actually pops up i actually did a lot of blending actually in this video it's just i cut it because i didn't want you guys to be there watching so since the liner of this a baddie girl is very like sharp and fleeky i decided to give the tape Pack a try I would just say that it did work it worked I'm not gonna say it didn't so here I'm just going back and I am pretty much outlining a little bit more making it a little bit thicker and I apply lashes and I use the Ardell Demi Wispies and then I went in and I actually made the liner a little bit thicker and hide the lash band just mascara to blend all everything together and for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Glow and the Milani as well. I just think that these two foundations mixed together makes the perfect full coverage foundation. So just a foundation brush blending everything. And now I'm using the new uh, Kat Von D Locket Concealer. And holy Jesus, is ballers, mama Jesus, everything. This concealer is amazing. I just think right now that the one they sent me is a little bit too light for me. But other than that, it works amazing. And I'm using the Maybelline eraser for everywhere else. Just It's a little bit more easy to blend. This one is a little bit more on the thick side. But the coverage on it, it's just out of this world. So I'm going to bake my face with the Air Spoon translucent powder that you can get at a drugstore. You can get this at Walgreens. And I'm just baking, baking. 
key to this look is bake your face. Then I move on to my eyebrows and I'm using the Benefit Brow Pencil, which I have been obsessed with lately. And the one of the very important things about this makeup look is that her eyebrows are always on point. <laughs> I'm trying to get my eyebrows there. But I really try making them very dark and very like, hey, I got eyebrows. I'm just dusting the translucent powder away and now I'm going in with my Banana Powder by NYX just to brighten the under eyes. I set it with the translucent but now with this I feel like I'm going to brighten them a little bit more. Then with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit, I am using this as my contour. So I'm just going to contour my face, my cheek, the temples of my face, my forehead, you know, get a little warmth in there. Look at my hair. <laughs> then I'm going in with MAC Desert Rose, it's a very matte pink mauve color for blush. And then girl highlight, Pfft. Prosecco Pop and Becca Champagne Pop. Yes, and I'm packing highlight. For lips, I'm using the NYX Lingerie 07 and then I am using Lip Land in Empire. And I'm mixing those two together to create the perfect dark nude color, I would say. And here is my version of the Instagram baddie makeup look. I really did try to get that liner to actually be very heavy. And I had to throw in the hat. I mean, I've seen the pictures everywhere where everyone wears a hat. So I hope you realize, really like this video. this is my idea of the Instagram baddie all right so I really hope you liked it and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button right there thank you so much for sticking till the end Mwah. besotes be blessed precious world I will see you ladies on my following video bye